Hey y'all, welcome to our Grey House Vlogs. I'm actually about to leave. I'm in my empty living room kitchen area, except for the couch. The uh, rest of the furniture will be moved back in over the next couple days. So, but first we have to clean the top of the cabinets, then we have to clean the counters, and then we'll clean the floor. And it's not all gonna be like super clean perfect, but you know, cause there's like dust and there was um, some drywall stuff on top of the cabinets. I got most of that picked up today, but I do need to vacuum the top of the cabinets. Then I'm gonna put down several layers of newspaper. So that way if it gets dusty again, you could just take up one layer of newspaper and you got a couple layers there. So you're not having to like really get up there and dust too much. You can just take up the newspaper. Then I'm gonna clean the counters uh, cause dirt kind of just like floats down and the dust floats down and then we'll clean the floors and then we'll start bringing in the furniture and trying to stage it a little bit and get everything put back together for pictures on Monday. But today, in addition to that, which mostly happened tonight, except I did clean off the, the major stuff from the top of the cabinets. But anyway, tonight, uh, today, I have a 10 o'clock appointment to get my car serviced and I'm gonna run real quick to get a hot chocolate. I'm gonna swing by and see the house. Then I'm gonna go to my car appointment. I'm gonna take my laptop inside and work while I'm there. So that way, maximize my use of time. And then I'm going to go run some errands. I've got a whole list of errands for myself to run. And then I'm gonna go to the office. So I have a little bit of a day planned for myself today. We're in crunch time because pictures are Monday. So some of the stuff that we have to do here, like cleaning up, like we have to get that done because we're having pictures on Mondays. What are, what are you guys doing? Okay, those are my cats. So anyways, so that's what we're gonna get started today. The cabinet guys were there yesterday, as you saw, so started putting in cabinets. But there was a little bit of a thing because my shiplap on my mud bench was a quarter inch gap and it really should have been a nickel gap. And the guy said he didn't know what a nickel gap was and I'm like, I didn't tell him this, but it's like when you put a nickel in between, that's the gap, like that's the nickel gap. So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to tell my builder. I don't care so much on the mud bench really, but what I do care about is over the fireplace. So, gotta make sure that that's done right, cause yeah. Anyways, okay, so now I'm gonna head out. And the cats are still playing. <laughs> y'all behave, love y'all. Bye Captain, bye socks. See you later, see you later alligator. After a while, crocodile. Okay, bye. Just got the car serviced. Um, it wasn't unlucky. So I got the car serviced, the oil changed, and the tires rotated. They said that the cabin and engine filter need to be replaced. They're gonna charge me like $85, so Marvin's gonna do it. Now I'm headed to um, probably the storage unit and then the house. I'm in the house, but nobody's here but there's trucks here. I don't know where they are. So, nothing's changed in the master. Um, or at least that nothing I can tell. But there is um, some change. They're building the mantle, and so far it looks good. And I don't know, maybe everybody's at lunch. Or like super quiet here. It's kind of weird. So here's my fireplace, the mantle. It's gonna have the power plug coming from the bottom. Like, I thought it was gonna be like in this part, but I don't know, I can't see because I'm only five foot tall, but maybe, maybe right there it says that, I don't know. And it's gonna have columns on the side, columns on each side, and it's gonna kind of look like this but our inset, the tile around it, is gonna be a gray glass. And more stuff happening. I mean, everything's kind of the same as yesterday, except for the mantle. But I legit can't reach some of these shelves. Oh, they're all outside, or at least some of them are outside. I see them now. Let's see if they built anything anywhere else. Not seeing anything. We've got some trim pieces here and then some over here, so maybe they're just cutting stuff and then put it all together in a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how that works. 
I'm kind of excited about this. This is my office vanity. And yeah. Oh, I was gonna take measurements. Dang it. Hmm. Because I need to buy that vanity mirror. And then of course I need to buy the sconce that goes on top. So I'll have to, uh, maybe I have a measuring tape in my car. I'll go look, I probably do. Why wouldn't I? I'm a realtor. Oh. oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Momentary pause. So I see two shelves and I'm like, um, it's supposed to have rods, but there's a shelf on top of the rod. So they started to work on this closet. Yay, That's this is the guest room closet. In my office closet, it's just shelves. There's no rod at all. Yay, we want wood dowels too. Um, I know that's a little, a lot of people get the metal ones, but we actually like the wood ones. So we're getting wood and it's, he said it doesn't matter to him, so. But it matters to us. I don't know, I guess everybody is doing lunch stuff, who knows, but yeah. I can't wait till they start putting the pantry together too. Um, my only, and it's not even like a bad thing, it's just that I'm short, so I can't reach all of these shelves, which is just kind of funny, um, but not really funny. But I like legit, like, I can't, I can't reach. Like, I couldn't reach, <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I guess just have a step stool that I, carry with me everywhere I go. And the mud bench. He was supposed to remove this one part because right under there, there's not supposed to be this part right here because it's just supposed to be open space so that we can just slide shoes in and stuff. And I was gonna put my um, scarves, like this scarf right here. I was just gonna fold them and like put them right here and like, but again, <laughs> can't really read. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe I'll find a basket or something to put up there and then just pull down the basket. Who knows? And actually, I don't mind this little gap here. Um, it's a little bit larger than I thought, but I think, I think it looks fine. And I'm going to put the rods, I don't know, I know I know. I already told you this, but I'm gonna put like hooks here, probably like three, I guess, and then just so like we can hang coats and stuff that we use on a regular basis, and then the rest of our coats will go in the front closet. And if we have guests come over, we can put their coats in the front closet. And yeah, like here's what I was talking about yesterday, guys. It says, can you see? It says nickel gap. And he wasn't really sure what that is, but it means like you put a nickel in there and that's the gap size. I don't know what the official term is, but that's what my builder called it. And that's what I've heard it called. But anyway, that's what we've got going on so far. So I took a couple pictures and I got to take a picture for Marvin because he didn't see the mantle yesterday because it wasn't up yesterday. And I've got to get to work because I've got stuff to do. And uh, I guess it's lunchtime for them. I need to call the office to see if they want me to pick up anything for lunch as well. And, okay. All right, so that's the update for today, or at least for now, and I will check back with you guys later. Just picked up two salads from JC's Burger Bar. I get the Southwest, Southwestern. I get ranch on the side, because I do like ranch, but I don't like a whole lot of ranch dressing, or really any kind of dressing on my salad. So, anyway. Back to the office now. Hey friends, change of plans. So I was going to, let's shut that off. I was gonna go, I was gonna work at the office, which I still am, but um, now um, we're gonna go preview a house. So what I'm gonna do is real quick, I'm gonna go and pay a P.O. box. I'm gonna drop some stuff off at the storage place. Whoa. The storage place and try to go to PetSmart all within like 45 minutes. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that. That'll be a bit of a um, tight timeline, but I can do it. I feel confident. I can do it. 
I can do it. Put my back into it. First stop is Best Buy and gonna get a hard drive. I forgot to add that to my list, so I'm gonna get it done real quick. At PetSmart now, and I know exactly what I want. That's what went down the wrong aisle, of course. But I know exactly what I want, and I have a coupon if I spend $30, I get $5 off. Plus I have treats rewards, don't know if you can use them together, but I'm gonna see, see if I can't stack that savings right on top of each other. But the cat's like, here's like a kitten one. I don't know if you like this kind, but it's natural ocean, huh. but it's more money. I wonder why, it's the same purine of Proclan. True Nature Kittens, $1.07, the other stuff's 99 cents. Doesn't make sense to me, but I don't care, I wanted to look into it. So, I got to the register, I have to spend $30. I spent $29.83. So I had to run back and get one more can of food to make the $30. I'm like, oh my gosh. But anyway, cat food has been purchased. And now, probably don't have time to go to the post office, but I'm gonna run by the office because we're gonna go to that property. Hey guys, I don't know what time it is, but I am in bed. And I'm not ready for bed, but I'm getting ready for bed. I don't know what I just did with my phone. But it's probably like 9.30, maybe almost 10. And I've gotten so far behind on posting my vlogs. Like, so far behind. I don't even know how far I'm behind. But I have been vlogging every single day. So that's something. But it feels kind of like... Why am I vlogging every day if I'm not even gonna have time to upload it? But I know that once I get past this stage of getting this house ready to sell, getting the, picking out the selections, all the selections for the new house, getting into the new house, refinancing that loan, selling this house, and all the things that are going on right now. Plus, I'm still running Wing Moms. Plus, I'm still working my real estate business and I have clients. So, there's a lot of balls up in the air, plates spinning, whatever analogy you want to use. There's quite a bit of things going on in my life. And we have pictures here Monday. And I did just a little bit of cleaning today. Tomorrow morning, I will try to get up early and clean some more. And so, if anybody's in the area and you want to come clean, <laughs> come on over. Yeah, I won't, I won't say no. I won't be mad at all about that. But let's see. Um, I had two appointments this afternoon. Same client, but I was going to show them two different places. And then they canceled. And we saw a $675,000 house. Not really sure it's worth that. I don't know that I would pay that. But it was a nice house. I mean, it had some great components to it. Let's just say that. But I didn't video because I think the listing said you weren't supposed to video there, so that's why I didn't. And what else? That's it. Oh, they put up crown molding today in the living room. That's the only room that's having the crown molding is the living room. And because the restrooms, it just doesn't need to be that fancy. But the living room has crown molding. And let's see. Oh, my only complaint so far, not my only one because I have a couple, but... The only thing that I would change so far on the build is two things. And it, one is not even a change, but one thing is in the powder room, the half bath, uh, what pe what the builder's calling the mud bath, because it's right next to the mud bench area, I would only put in like a pedestal sink so it would feel a little bit bigger in there because with a cabinet, it does make it feel like a little bit more tight, tighter in there. And then the other thing is some of the cabinets are too tall. Like the mud bench is a little bit too tall for me to reach that top shelf. So, but I wouldn't really, I don't know that I'd really change it. It's just something to keep in mind. Like I literally going to need to buy a stool to keep in the kitchen area so that we can reach things. Like seriously, I'm gonna need that in there. We still have to pick out sconces. I still need to measure the mud bath, powder room, half bath, vanity for the mirror. I need to order the mirrors. 
I need to look on Wayfair before I order from Kirkland's because I found them on Kirkland's, the ones I found the right size, but I didn't really find the ones that I wanted. Not really sure. So I'm going to look at the Wayfair app or website. So if you have any other ideas of places to get things like that, let me know. Uh, we have to still choose sconces for the front porch, although I think we have those in mind. I just need to kind of think down with the smaller or bigger ones. And the sconces are vanity lights for the bathrooms. All three of them. It's two and a half bath. Um, what else? Oh, and when I measured today, I realized the guest bathroom is has a larger vanity area than my office bathroom. So I was like, did not know that. Also, oh, one thing I guess it would have changed is the fact that, um, Catherine Stop is, uh, my office is facing north, which is a great way to face, but I probably would have changed it to the other room because the other room has two windows and the office that I'm in only has one window. There's still a lot of natural light coming in, but kind of would have changed it. Maybe, probably, yeah. But the, stop, what are you doing? Um, but in the office, the vanity was on one side where the window was, so we had to switch it to the other side, which uh, made the closet in the guest room smaller. So I would have had a smaller closet. So, and I have a pretty, pretty good sized closet right now in the office to hold all of my things. And, oh, and another thing too, which I did not think about this, but because it's a walk-in closet, the closet opens, the door opens into the closet. And like in the house here, the bedrooms, the closet opens out. Like it opens into the room as opposed to into the closet. Does that make sense? I don't know. But anyway, I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Because I was going to put this bookcase inside my office closet. And now I'm like, well, it would be, it would get hit each time you open that door. So, I don't know. And then we were talking to our lender today about how much we needed for the down payment. How much we needed for this and that and the other. And we're in a little bit better position than I originally thought. So that's a good thing. I always try to do like worst case scenario. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, I try to do worst case scenario. So we're in a better position financially for this house than I had estimated. So that's good because we are going to want to buy new couches and a new dining room table and chairs and possibly a new bedroom suit. So I wasn't anticipating buying a new bedroom suit, but tonight Marvin was like, yeah, I kind of want to buy a new bedroom suit. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to say no. You know, I'm not going to say no. But uh, everything matches. I'm, I think we'll have to buy the same color, but we'll see. I don't know. I like my bed, though. Okay, guys, I think that's it. I will, I'm going to end the vlog now because I've been chatting for seven minutes. That's a long time. I thank you guys so much for watching. I promise. I promise. I promise I'm gonna get better as far as like uploading I am filming every day so at least that's something I'm in the habit I'm in the practice of doing that but um, yeah so if you like my content if you like my videos share it subscribe like it tell all your friends tell the tell the cashier at your grocery store tell your dry cleaner tell anybody that's interested in the type of content I put out because I like new friends. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.